owe it to them. If we don't got enough to give to somebody else, we don't owe we don't owe nothing anyway. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I don't owe that anyway, because this is your energy. You feel me? But don't overextend ourselves. Well, I don't even know where they what came from being triggered by other people. Not looking at yourself and taking accountability. Every single thing that make you feel a way, whether it make you feel joyful, whether it make you feel rage, is a reflection that trigger of you, of you self, of you divine soul who listening. And I get it. I get it. That's a that's a whole nother motherfucking bull. That's a zombie bull that you gotta fucking ride. <laughs> it's learning them learned behaviors that we be having. Running around getting in our feelings and our emotions because something didn't go our way. Or because somebody not giving us what we think we need. We gotta be self sufficient. feel like I'm in a space where God want me to share. I said we had this reading over and over. This come up in a reading over and over is just um share your gifts with the world. Share who your gift is just being who you are and doing what you love that make your heart feel joyful. Right now is the time that we not focus on material shit. I'm saying this to self. Like, bills and whatever. You feel me? This, we, we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff no more because we just never had to worry about it. it. It used to be something that was imprinted in us because that's how we grew up. Maybe we grew up, we ain't have shit. You feel me? So we learned a coping mechanism to be greedy or stingy or tight or or the opposite of that. Or worry. Have a scarcity mind frame. Is this enough? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. And what God is showing me right now, what I'm learning right now, what I am uh, operating in is be in this moment right now and I have everything I need. Everything I have that I feel like I have. And then, and then, be on top of that paradigm or however the word I'm trying to use. Thank you, angels. Uh, is none of this shit is ours. <laughs> Nothing is ours. Not even our fucking body is ours. <laughs> you feel me? Like, somebody said that to me a few weeks ago, and I, that's just something I never got out my mind. That right there. Like, nothing is mine. Whatever happens in my life, I'm going to flow with it effortlessly. Whatever happens, and I don't even get carried away in the next moment because I'm cool. I'm to the beat right here. Right on, Kevin. You got two cards. You got a feeling just can't shake. The little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. You got a feeling just can't shake. Listen to the little, listen to that shit. Thank you, angels. 
see, I feel like this was what we was talking about earlier in the message where, where we were saying, if you got to question it, it's not supposed to come where you are going. If you wondering, because the voice is telling us in our subconscious really what time it is. It's just battling with the flesh of the attachment to it. You feel me? So, like, if you question it, that's your higher self. That's God, your angels, your gods telling you that it ain't supposed to go in this season. It's not everyone else's fault. You are a grown ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. <laughs> Love you, angels. Love you, granny and daddy. I be having to say thank you when I love you to them because they be with me. They the one be giving me the on everything. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for angels. Oh, it's not everyone's else's fault. What was we saying earlier? What was we just saying? Well, tell me what we was just saying. Thank you, angels. We were saying when we get triggered, we ain't blaming it on nobody else. We ain't blaming it on nobody else. We using it as a mirror and looking at ourselves. We grown as fuck. Ain't nobody on this realm to coddle emotion. Somebody else's. It's really, really, really selfish. It's selfish to roam the world and think people are supposed to be always in alignment with, with the things that we feel. You feel me? Like, that's not realistic. And it's not healthy. And I'm telling you from somebody who is healed from that shit. Because now, since I learned the importance of my own emotional intelligence, I'm more considerate and more compassionate towards other people and if they getting triggered or how they feel. You feel me? And I'm not trying to um, sop up their offense. Because I'm learning how to not have offense my own self. So why would I sop up your offense when you shoot it at me? No. I'm going to stay in control of my shit because it took me a long time to learn how to get here. You feel me? And I'm not going to let nothing pull me to a level back down that I fought so hard to get through. I'm not ever doing that again in life. I got that lesson. So that's what that's about. And I think that is the last let me see if we can get one out of Monology now. Yeah, I don't think these don't want to talk. They want to talk a lot. That's the thing. Three cards popped out. They want to talk a lot. See, I'll be trying to ask for, for one card. We're going to take these three. We're going to take these three, though. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. And then we got you you and your loved ones are safe. Adjustments are required. So that's the things that we said we needed to change, that we need to still let go of, that we still might have been questioning. Is this time for this to go? Those are the adjustments that need to be made off top. Anything questionable got to go. You feel me? Um, if you're worrying about the transitions because you might have had an attachment to somebody because access to them made you feel a little bit safer out here in, in the world, this is your test. This is your, um, like, God wants us to have faith. You feel me? That 
when we let go of the things that are um, in, in alignment to us, when we let go of those things completely and let ourselves be free, let ourselves be free of worry, relax, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Be our most self-loving self in the world because that's going to give all the good vibes to everybody else and fucking flow. And luck is on our side. You feel me? Like, this is those blessings right here. You feel me? That's coming to us in the form of new opportunities, new dream jobs, dream homes, dream businesses, dream companions, dream uh, finances, financial freedom. You feel me? All this what this is and that's what we need to do switch up some shit switch it all the way up yeah so yeah that's what it is and um i think it's it for today so um thank you for getting on here my lips was like pookie Yeah, so have a nice evening. I love you. You are amazing. I'm proud of you. You the shit. You the truth. You successful in whatever you put your mind to. You just cold. You a cold demo out here. And don't you forget it. Okay, and don't you forget it. Don't you forget it, don't you forget it, and don't you forget it, don't you forget it, you will not forget, cause you gon' get split, I ain't fucking with you, you know I ain't in the it's all love y'all i'm just on one on this mic just talking thank you for coming on here and it's my intention is to come back on here too as soon as i'm able to i'm trying to learn how to stop plotting like i'm gonna do this next week but you know it's life okay deuces thanks for vibing over here i appreciate it i hope i know something got delivered into your heart and your spirit i know it did because that's the way god works on everything okay i'm off this thing